Hello, I'm Christopher Thompson. Welcome to another edition of Chris Speaks. Okay, um, well, this actually happened a few weeks ago, but um, I'm bringing it up because of a comment from the, I, I think the Cleveland um, Police Union, because, I don't know, because, like, we really care. But anyways, so it started a few weeks back, maybe a month ago, uh, there was a thing of where the Cleveland Browns, it was rumored that they were going to give Colin Kaepernick a job, in which their um, owner decided not to. So the some Cleveland Brown team members, not just black guys, there were white guys involved too, which is great that they're bringing this into, kneeled at the national anthem. And so, but let's cap this up. Why are they kneeling at that national anthem? Are they kneeling because they hate our country? No. Are they kneeling because they're not patriotic? No. They are kneeling in order to protest what is what what they're protesting is all these unarmed black people that are being killed by the police. Okay, and this got the country so furious because there's nothing more patriotic to them than standing up at a sporting event for a song about the war of 1812 which I don't even understand that's why our, it's our national anthem what, what's patriotic about the war of 1812 what's patriotic about a damn football game I mean give me a break this is just a dog and pony show and then, then let's break it down. What is more patriotic, standing for a stupid song at a game or using your First Amendment right to protest? And this thing of that... So, okay, so that happened. And then now, uh, weeks later, we get a comment from the head of the police union saying that they're ignorant. They're ig No, you're ignorant. They're not ignorant. They're aware they're informed that they know what they're doing they are standing one to show um show that they're allied with kaepernick and two to protest something that's going on and is it just black people that are this is happening to no but it's disproportionately black people and it's it's interesting when um uh, for instance when the, the and this is a white guy in Oregon who had just murdered two people and um, basically he's got attempted murder for the other person did that he's out there by the cops with the knife walking around near them he doesn't get tasered he doesn't get shot he doesn't get nothing they showed something for five or six years ago where a black guy has a knife and he's way away from the cops and he's walking away and they shot him in like a few seconds and they killed him so don't tell me that there isn't this fucking double standard because when a guy was white guys being threatening to the cops they don't shoot him it's just like the the back when uh you have all the, like what was that mike guy who got shot and killed because he pissed the cop off and then they tried to blame it on him stealing a fucking cigar when the cop didn't even know anything about it yeah, you had that, and then a few years ago, you had what the the freaking white kid that shot up all those people at the black church. After sitting through Bible study, and getting to know he still shot them and killed them, and did did the cops shoot him, kill him? No, they asked questions. They bought him a goddamn Big Mac at McDonald's. So don't tell me that the cops don't treat black people differently. They do. And it's not ignorant. And it's not being disrespectful for your country. It's actually, first of all, I don't know what you idiots going to football games standing at a national anthem. That doesn't make you a patriot. Do something to earn that. Don't say, I'm a patriot because I just blindly follow my government. Bullshit. That's not what a patriot is. I mean, I guess that's the dictionary definition. But if you really want to be active and be a real American, there's nothing more American than protesting. It's covered in the First Amendment. It's addressing the government for grievance, your grievances. And that's protected. 
and it's funny how every time whenever the um not to use in kkk or anyone who's just fucking evil or just kissing the balls of the government which is isn't that that's what <laughs> that's just racist shit but if you're like pro-government and you're pro thing uh, you're fine but anytime you mention anything that's unpopular which is usually sticking up for people's rights then all of a sudden you're a terrible person and you're not and this is just ridiculous and the fact that these cops get pissed because you tell them you're protesting saying black people are protesting do not shoot us please don't shoot and kill unarmed black people and they're like how dare you how dare you say don't kill black people and, and don't tell me that this doesn't happen this is keep continues to happen and this has probably been happening forever and the, this thing of oh we can't talk about it and that's what I what totally irritated me about the right was that the any time people protest black people getting killed or they hate them they call them un-American and, and it's just whatever man and that's some oh and then I love how the things always come up with well, well the real problem is black on black violence um yeah, because when um, a black person kills white people, the news always says w the real problem is white on white violence. Well, why don't they? Why don't they? Because it's true. Most white people also kill, are also killed by white people. Most Hispanics are killed by other Hispanics. Most Asians are killed by other Asians because that's what it is and then in especially areas where it's most where it's like divided neighborhoods of course they're killing their own but it's not something black on black violence isn't a thing because it's not anything different from any other race all races have are usually injured or murdered by their own race that's just a given so don't give me that crap because it's not a thing it's, it'd only be a thing if they were the only race that was killed mostly by their own race. So that's bullshit. That's a that's a cop out. And it's like, and even if that was true, you know, oh well, but you're saying that because black people kill other black people, it's all right for white people to get away with murder. And the whole thing is, is when those black people kill other black people, they go to jail. They go to prison. They they don't not get indicted or don't go on trial or even if they did have a jury that's all white back to the Jim Crow days of all white juries. And it's just ridiculous. It's you're not even allowed to speak up against it. You're just supposed to sit there and let it happen. We are so bent out of shape by even mentioning. Um, that there's a race race there's race issues and oh the thing I I I really flubbed on what I was trying to say I was trying I mentioned something about during the Obama administration oh this is what I was trying to say even though I messed it up what I was trying to say is anytime Obama even brought up race issues because those race issues needed to be, be brought up because of the same issues uh, it started with um what was that kid Tr Trayvon Martin getting killed not by a cop but a guy who was the self-professed leader of the neighborhood watch because no one appointed him but they weren't allowed to say that in during his sham of a trial it was half half white half Mexican Trayvon Martin was black Trayvon Martin was minding his own business he went to the store he got candy and skittles and a tea and he was walking at home, and this paranoid guy sees him walking, calls 911, and says, oh, blah, blah, blah. He's walking down the street, so he's, he's scared of a black guy walking down the street. And supposedly there had been some robberies or whatever. But he says, leave him alone, let him go, don't do anything. We'll come around, we'll see. And he, he ignores them. He says, they get away with this shit all the time, meaning black people. And this guy is known to call the cops every time he saw a black guy walking down the street. 
So he went over there and there was some um, altercation and he ended up shooting Trayvon Martin when if he would have left him alone that wouldn't have happened and then supposedly there was no one to witness it so his story was the kid hit him but if I came up to you if someone came up to me say I'm in the middle of the night it's dark I'm walking I'm aware I'm trying to be aware of what's going on because I don't want to get jumped or killed or whatever someone goes BAM uh, this is probably what he did. He took his arm, went on his shoulder, probably went like, BAM! What are you doing? And the guy turns around and punches him. I'd turn around and punch you. It's fucking night. You're creeping up behind me and throwing your thing on me. But then the thing is, is we don't know for for real whether uh, Rayvon punched him first or not. And you're telling me this is a guy, this, this dude, George Zimmerman, it was a mixed martial arts uh, artist and he couldn't um, fight over but he's a martial artist he's a mixed martial artist he should know how to stand his ground well okay I'm going along on this but basically that's what started the whole Black Lives Matter thing and that's what started the first coming of um, Obama speaking on race issues and because he was black he, we, they were saying how well you're black so you can't speak out on black people being murdered you can't say mention race issues and that was somehow dividing the country how is that dividing the country no racism is dividing the country these black people being killed by cops and or other people who are not black and they're getting away with it that's what's screwed up that's what's wrong that's what's dividing the country not discussing racism race issues and it's just i i love it the 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 right calls everything politically correct but they have their own political correctness they have this political correctness where you're not allowed to call a racist a racist you're not allowed to call a bigot a bigot you're not allowed to do any of this and you're not allowed to protest unless you're a right-wing nazi clan member whatnot and it's ridiculous it's ridiculous you can't be racist and expect me not to call you a racist and that somehow belittles the thing of racism well i wouldn't call you a racist all the time if you weren't being a fucking racist and here i am with my language again i need to learn to keep that down but it's just ridiculous we can't if you can't even protest something that's going on you can't protest the fact that these people that black people are unfairly treated by the justice system if you even got rid of the thing of these unarmed black people being killed well, sometimes 13 year old boys with BB guns where they don't even say anything don't even give them a chance and just shoot them okay you even take that out let's let's take this into perspective oh and I want to address the, something that this troll on Yahoo said first of all he he mentioned uh, black on black violence again okay and then he also said that, well, um, black people commit the majority of crime. That's not true, especially if you want to bring up, um, you want to bring up statistics on um, violent crime. Um, excuse me, the latest statistics say that the majority of violent crimes are perpetrated by white people, not black people, white people. So you got it completely wrong. But let's go to this thing. The problem, the thing is, okay, most white people commit the violent crime, crimes in general. Who's mostly in jail? Black people. So there's something, if white people commit the most crime, but more black people are in jail, that makes you think that there's favoritism when it comes to um, race. And there is. And ignoring it isn't going to make it go away. Being aware of it isn't ignorant. Trying to make people trying to silence people about it trying to make people um shut up about it that's ignorant it's ignorant to ignore a problem that's going on and then get mad at people for protesting it well that's all i got to have to say about this subject I, i'll catch you guys later nanu nanu Okay, for you uh, youngins out there who um, don't know the Nanu Nanu thing, that's from um, 
uh, Mork and Mindy. Okay, so if you never saw the show, Mork's this alien, and like um, Nanu Nanu is both like a green and uh, um, it's kind of like. Um, never mind. Anyways, it's. Uh, Oh, it's kind of like Aloha. Aloha in um, um, Hawaii is both a hello and a goodbye, and Nanu Nanu is the same way. And uh, especially at the end, anytime you do it, someone is like Nanu Nanu. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's off the subject. Okay, well, that's all. See you guys next time.